All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to some more Stomping Land. Um, one of the things that I noticed with this game uh, is I don't think there's a save feature. So I've noticed that I've come back to other servers and whatnot, and I kind of just respawn back here again. So I know the TPs allow you to respawn at that location, but as far as doing solo play or anything like that, uh, nothing is currently saving right now. So... That's kind of a bummer. So I think as of right now, we're probably going to be, unfortunately, having to start over every single episode until they make some sort of a save feature or something along those lines. And secondly, um, I also noticed that things are extremely dark for you guys. And unfortunately, there's really not a whole lot I can do about that. Even watching the developer streams, things were extremely dark. So until they add a little bit more graphical features... You know, as far as, um, you know, brightness, gamma, or something along those lines. <clears throat> Unfortunately, what the heck? Unfortunately, there's really not a whole lot I can do about that right now. And that dinosaur is aggressive, by the way. So we're going to go ahead and pull my little wood container over here. Because what I'd like to do is I'd like to get myself a bow to defend myself right off the bat. Alright, so I'm going to craft myself a bow really quick. Then I have a way to defend myself. Just like that. Nice, now I've got a bow. So that way, if that dinosaur or anybody does come around, I can at least take them out. All right, let's grab a couple more rocks here. I'd also like to try and make myself a bola and maybe a spear. All right, let's go ahead and pull our little rock box back over to a tree here. This is what I like to do. I like to find somewhere that's got a rock and a tree next to each other. Because currently, right now, rocks and trees have like an unlimited source. So you can kind of really just farm the same tree and same rock over and over again. Alright, some bolas. Let's make that. And you can make a fire pit, cook some food, all that fun stuff as well. Oh, that dinosaur is getting close. Let's see if we can tag him. Oh, he looks like he took off. We might have got him. Usually they'll charge at you. Alright. So now I'd like to try and find one of those Gallimimuses because I'd like to try out one of these bolas on him. But let's make a spear really quick now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, there's a Gallimimus right over there. Shh. Let's see if we can actually get close enough. I've never used these things yet, so I don't know how they operate. Let's try and get close to him here. I don't want him to... All right, and here we go. Did I just miss? Did I miss again? <laughs> okay. <laughs> the uh, maybe I've got to be closer to make those things work, or I can't even use them on him. I don't know. All right, let's make some. Let's make some more. And let's make a spear. So what I generally do is I'll pick a rock like I am now. I'll drop one rock on the ground. As soon as you drop another rock, it creates the little wicker basket for you, which allows you to start stashing stuff. Um, each container can hold about 20 pieces, and you can interchange and mix things. So you don't have to keep making a separate rock or wood box or anything like that. So what I like to do is I'll say I've got five stone in there. I'll pull it over to a tree. 
just like this. And then I'll chop the tree down and then mix it together. See? Just like that. Let's see what we can make. We can make a rope. Maybe we have to have a rope. Maybe the bolas are for, like, taking actual players down. Okay, so now we just made a rope. So there's our bow and arrow. Ah, so here's a rope now. Okay. It almost looks like bolas, though. Huh, maybe we'll try the rope now, next time we see a, uh, a Galmimus nearby. Oh, there's actually one right up there. Alright, let's go for it. Alright. I've got one chance at this here. Let's see if he comes right up to me. Alright. I was hoping that what I could do is I was hitting the interact button to see if maybe I can interact with them. That's why I let them walk by so close. Alright, we're going to let him get a little closer. And then we're going to throw this at him. <laughs> that didn't do anything. Alright, he's making his way back now. Let's see if we can't... uh Lasso him up here. That's not working. <laughs> Uh-oh. I got a bad guy here. Looks like he's not coming after us either. Oh, nice. Took him down. See, now you can go chop him, take his meat, and cook it. Alright, let's come back over here real quick. I think I had a box right over here somewhere where I was collecting wood. Yep, right here. Alright. So we're going to collect some more wood. And then we can pull it over here. Right up near the rocks. Okay, now that we've got one rock in there, see, now we can make a shield, torch, rope, and arrows. Now we can make a fire pit. Oh, there's our spear. Let's go ahead and craft that spear up now. I'd like to make some more rope. See if we can't figure out how to take down one of those guys. Okay, now we've got a spear. Nice. Alright. Let's try making a rope again. So it's two wood for a rope. Perfect. Now we have some defenses at least. Alright. So now we've got a spear. we got rope. A bow and arrow, and our hatchet. And there's the dinosaur that you can chop up and turn into meat. Alright, let's start taking a look around, shall we? <clears throat> so yeah, like I said, I think what I'll probably end up having to do is not play this game, unfortunately, when it's nighttime. Which sucks, because that's when you can see the stars and the constellations and stuff, but... It is what it is. Maybe there's a certain way you have to lasso up a Gallimimus or something. I was almost positive you're able to lasso those things. And, uh, and ride them, but who knows.
I don't hear one anywhere. I know there was one back here. Oh, that's one of those mean guys, though. I like to try and stay away from him. Because he will charge and ram at you. I've seen it. <laughs> he's done it before. Not too sure why he's... Being so nice now. Ah, there's Galmimus right there. Alright, let's see if we can figure out this rope thing. Oh, I just scared him. Dang it. He's gonna run away for a minute. There he is. Ah, dang it. These things are actually kind of hard to aim. Don't run off in the water, dude. Come back this way. Is he going to climb up the rock? No, he's not. He's going to run into the rock. That didn't do anything. Nope. Huh. Alright, well, not too sure if I'm even able to do that or not, or I'm just completely missing him, one or the other. Alright, let's start heading inland, shall we? Oh, snap! Oh! Ah! That's exactly what I was talking to you guys about. <laughs> Stay alive, man! Oh, no. That's until somebody can revive me. Yeah, you guys saw how quickly that thing just killed me, right? Oh. And I just lost my 26 expertise. Now we are in a new random location. Now, if I would have built a TP, then um, I would have respawned in my TP. Now I'm in a random location on this little uh, island here. I shouldn't even say little. This island is actually quite large. Now if I could just find a rock. Oh god, it's another one of those guys. If I can just find a rock, I'll make another bow. And then we'll head inland. Ah, here we go. Perfect. We'll get some of this wood here. Now, I'm not sure exactly how many wood and stone you need for a bow. So, I'm just going to put two pieces of wood in there for now. And we're going to try coming over here and grabbing some stone. So you can make bolas already. Oh god. Are you serious right now? Oh god. We're just going to come over here. Oh, I can craft my bow really quick. I don't think that dinosaur AI on him is uh, very efficient right now. <laughs> oh, I still can't make a bow. Um, I can make a shield now. And a fire pit. Now I can make a bow. Perfect. 
he's still just kind of randomly walking into that rock, so we're going to kill him really quick. Oh, God. Oh! Whew. That was close. I will chop you up for trying to kill me, though. There we go. Now we can pull our little meat case down to the beach. Or we could just put it, like, right here, actually. Because then what we could try and do is we could try and craft a TP before we head inland. Now, that way we have a spawn point. Let's try that, shall we? I don't know. I think it was... If I remember right, I think it was something like 10 stone... 10 wood and 5 stone or something. I don't remember. So we got 8 stone in there now. Let's bring it over here. Let's put some wood in there. Uh, yep. So, uh-oh. I hear another one of those dinosaurs. I don't know where he's at, though. Oh, snap. He took off. Okay. What can we make? We've got uh, seven wood in there. So let's get some more wood here. Oh, crap. Oh! Gosh, dang, man. Oh, my God. There's another one. Oh, I killed him. That was probably the one I shot earlier. Oh my god, there's another one. We're like, this place is infested with them. We got a little meat box going here, though. Oh god. I've got three shots left, and he's like right there. He took off. Okay, good. Alright, let's pull this over here to this guy. We'll chop him up. There we go. Now we got a little meat basket going here. <laughs> now we can probably build a fire pit. Uh, let's see. Totem. My gosh, these singers are coming back again. Oh my god, he would freaking go right where I'm trying to build something. There's our TP. Okay, so let's pull this thing over here. And it's getting nighttime. That's just great. And it's raining. Alright, we're going to build the TP really quick. That way we have some shelter. That's going to build the TP around me. Just like that. You guys probably are having a hard time seeing, but hey, that works out good. So, this is where I'm going to wrap up this episode up here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed some more stomping land. Unfortunately, this probably is not going to save, but I'm going to lose all my work. Uh, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. It is pre-alpha. It is an amazing game. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Once we get it all installed on the other family members' computers, hopefully we can get all four of us here and do some family game nights surviving some dinosaurs. We'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day, everybody.